Welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy, which will be entirely dedicated to familiarity and study of magical beasts of this game. It's definitely not going to be boring, so make yourself comfy and enjoy it. Let's go! Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> okay, Newt, keep an eye out on this lamp of wool. Just be gentle. Oh, and it could think be dang dangerous. Thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. Hmm, so lovely. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? So now we have to feed him. Okay. Nothing complicated here. Here we go. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition. And cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way, the measles are over here. Oh, couple of knees or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Cheeks. <laughs> oh, come on, man. What are you doing? Stupid thing. Leave him alone. Have pity on this cat. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. Mm -hmm, I see someone looking for problems here. <sighs> Let's go. That's right. Run away. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast lesson? Of course, very interesting. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good! You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts? Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, 
Why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. So, the lesson is over. I need to talk to you. Come here. Okay. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well, lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Hmm, interesting. Poppy wants to introduce us to someone in I the forest. I wouldn't just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having. What do you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. I can mist to gather a couple of moonstones. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. Of course, guys, of course, finally, hippogriffs. So magnificent. Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. Okay. I can say first meet is successful. I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. So, what did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story. But I rescued her from poachers a few years back, got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what.
You may be reading into it. Talking to people isn't a crime. It's hard to explain, but something about it just feels wrong. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on, what they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep hiring safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. So, we learn a lot of interesting things here. And finally, we have met uh, Hippogriffs in this game. And uh, also, I didn't spend so much time on this quest. And now we can go straight to the next one, which also is connected to magical beasts. Deke! Ah! Deke is so happy to see you! And Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Ooh, pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed. And luckily, Dee can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Sounds great, let's go. Come along then. A nasty poacher. Dick hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. <laughs> It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff schemes nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff scheme, and in it'll go. All right. All right, let's try myself in catching uh, puff skins. Okay, it's not so simple, they're running away from me. In the end, finally I thought of uh, using my invisible spell and sneak up on them. Ooh, finally. Let's speak with Dick now. I managed to rescue a puff skin. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puff skins and, well, Dick isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Dick is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skin. Dick suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A job and all, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobanals are just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Well, uh, the hint is not bad, thank you for that. And uh, also, what interesting we can find more. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts. Or to Deke, he saw beasts only as a source of income. 
to be used for potion ingredients and labor and... Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts, where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. Not bad source of income, you're saying. Okay, not bad. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Okay, let's proceed. Shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Uh, well then, let's prepare our Livios spell. I'm gonna need it. Another beast in our bag. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. I rescued a Jobinol. Deke hopes your Jobinol finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Okay, it's night time and uh, let's go check what kind of beasts we're gonna meet at this time okay guys we must be quiet now and uh, try to catch a moon calf Let me also. I got you everything's all right now it's time to speak with Deke again. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right, Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Okay, let's try it to see what's happening. No way. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Yes, Newt is too small for our beasts. Heavens! Wow, You've done <laughs> I'm it. taking my words back. But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Of course, uh, let's check it. Oh, come on. It's so nice here. It's such a big place. Exactly what Look we need for this. our beasts. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them. Let them see their new home. Oh, 
Deke thinks the Vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Thank you for your help, Deke. Whew, so finally we finished our second quest, guys, and where we was introduced with Knapsack and the Loom. About uh, the Loom, I took the initiative not to show everything in detail. The main thing is to know that uh, it can upgrade our clothes. So this is all for this episode, I guess you enjoyed it, and I will wait for you for the next one. Thank you for watching.